So this is going to be a comparison between your commercial 30-inch uh, walk-behind mower and the residential one. So this is an Exmark commercial 30. Um, I've, I've run both. You know, when I first started out, I was initially using the Toro Time Master. So people often compare the Time Master to the commercial end units. You know, Exmark has its own 30-inch one and Toro has its own 30-inch one. Uh, they're very comparable. I mean, Toro owns Exmark, so features are very comparable. So the real question is, what are the main differences between the two? And, um, you know, is it worth uh, this one or the other one? Um, and so my experience has been, um, now I'm just using the commercial Exmark, you know, the commercial 30-inch deck, uh, as opposed to the Toro. And when I first started out, I was using the Toro. You know, it's, uh, the mowers are great, you know, 30-inch mowers. It'll go anywhere that your, your smaller push mower will go. Um, and it just saves a lot of time. Now, the main, uh, the main differences between the two are, you know, the commercial end machine is gonna be built a lot more, uh, it's, it's more rugged in its design and the engines are different. So, um, so this is equipped with the Briggs & Stratton. It's a 190 cc engine. The engine displacements are the same. The major discrepancy is um, on the Toro Time Master, you're, you have this cheap Briggs & Stratton engine. Uh, I've actually gone through two Toro Time Masters. Both of them, the engine uh, just failed on them. Um, it had a head gaskets problem or it just wouldn't start anymore. Um, so again, that's what it is. It's low end Briggs & Stratton engines. Uh, commercial guys, they're not gonna be running Briggs engines. Uh, all you see are Kohler and Kawasaki. And of the two, Kawasaki holds up a lot longer. So the reliability on this engine, you know, even though I was changing the oil and I was keeping up on the maintenance, just a really poorly designed engine. So it's a cheap engine. Um, you can replace it and put something else on there, but uh, don't expect a lot of life out of the Briggs & Stratton engine. I mean, you see um, most of the features you can see, uh, the, the system, the pulley system in here that drives the, the blades is actually quite comparable on the X mark. You know, they both have this plastic covering on the pulleys inside. You know, obviously this is going to have the more commercial grade engine. This is a Kawasaki commercial uh, FJ180V. So similar displacement engine. Again, this mower is going to run you uh, $1,800 or something like that. And this one is $1,200 to $1,000. Um, and if you're first starting out, you know, it's fine. Um, you know, it's not going to last forever. Um, and there are some flaws with the engine, but other than that, it, it's, it's comparable, but you can see on this one, um, you know, you have this rugged, uh, steel frame that extends all around the mower. Whereas this one lacks all that protection, you know, the front end, it's all steel, um, as, a, as opposed to, you know, most, this is mostly plastic. So you see a main difference there. Uh, the wheel configuration is a little bit different. Uh, I've, I've had problems with these uh, because nothing really secures this in. So I think it's poorly designed. Uh, what would end up happening is you'd be cutting and it would, it would skip and it would fall lower. Um, so that was a key issue that I had on both Time Masters. Again, I had two um, and one... Um, and uh, they, both, they both cut out, we both had engine problems, and so I would just take parts off it here and there. I might sell them, I'm not exactly certain what I'm gonna do with them, uh, but yeah, they just they weren't up to the rigors of you know, commercial work or, or, or you know, they, they didn't uh, <clears throat> stand the test of time. But you know, starting with, the, with you know, the height adjustment system, the height adjustment system on this one, although it is sort of convenient because you know, on this one you only have one lever, whereas uh, on the commercial X mark, you have to put these, these pin in, pins in. Uh, they, they actually slide out and you stick them back in. You have to do it on both wheels here and the thing on the back, whereas on the Time Master, you, know, you have uh, one that adjusts both and then you have one in the back, which is similar to, to this one as well. Uh, again, I like this lever configuration a little bit more, but uh, on the Time Master, it, it's flawed in this design because what happens is uh, there's nothing really holding this in place, so it tends to bend and warp. And so uh, over time, you know, this will just, um, you know, fall when you're mowing. It'll, it'll, um, it'll come off, and so that causes problems. So I had an issue there with that. So with that regard, with the height adjustment system, you know, you have the X mark as a clear advantage there. A build configuration, as I previously mentioned, um, just a much sturdier build. Um, you have thicker steel going all the way around as opposed to, to the Time Master. You know, it's, uh, I think um, the, uh, the amount of steel that goes into this one versus this one, there's more in it. 
Uh, so I think the build quality is a lot better. And again, if you're hitting trees or, or other obstacles, you know, you have this fully uh, welded frame that's gonna uh, protect the mower. Uh, as I said, engine uh, is definitely Kawasaki. It's so much better. I've run this for 100 hours. Uh, the, uh, these mowers, would I'd run about a season or so, and then they, and then they cut out on me. So uh, in terms of reliability, the Kawasaki engine was far better, and I think it's worth the cost. So again, similar engine displacements. Again, this is a much better engine. Um, the other main discrepancy is the fuel tank. Uh, you can see on the uh, Kawasaki, the, the fuel tank is a lot larger. Um, so uh, as opposed to the, the Toro, the fuel, um, the fuel thing is, is smaller. Uh, so you're gonna have to refuel less with the, with the uh, Kawasaki and it holds a lot, a lot more. Uh, the side discharge is uh, this wing, they give you a steel plate that's adjustable, it comes in and out. And so uh, uh, it'll just side discharge out the back. And whereas this one is uh, plastic. So again, it's just more steel going in the, uh, going in the uh, commercial. 30 inch one and then the uh, the back of the, the mower um, it's similar because uh, you have a, a discharge plug that goes in the back and you can add in a uh, the, uh, the bagging system as well and both of those are comparable uh, so it's comparable in that regard uh, the main thing that's going to be different on, on both are the uh, salt propulsion system um, with the with the Toro the Time Master all you do is you push it and it goes along I've seen guys have uh, issues uh, with, with the cables. They need to be adjusted every now and again and on the uh, start and stop button, um, sometimes it can get a little finicky, so you have to adjust that there. Um, on the X mark, it's just uh, maneuvering the, the, uh, the throttle here. Uh, so you regulate speed there and you just turn it off. So a little bit, um, so it's a different design, but I think it's better. Again, both have a safety feature where you have to pull it in to move it. So the same on this one, just pull it in to move it. And uh, I think the cut quality is very similar. Again, similar displacement engines. Uh, it's just, this is a much more rugged machine. Um, and you know, I've been through well, the landscaping business for a number of years, and I always recommend just getting uh, the best that you can afford. I wouldn't cheap out and get the, uh, the Time Master. It's just because the commercial third is gonna last you so much longer. Um, I think this engine is gonna last me at least 10 times longer than than uh, the Briggs and Stratton engine. Again, it's uh, nothing beats the Kawasaki engines. I've run Kohler's, I've run Briggs, and I've tried uh, the Vanguard, and really Kawasaki is far above the rest. Um, uh, Vanguard is slightly better than uh, Kohler, but um, in reality, it's there's no comparison to the Kawasaki's. So those are some of the main features um, on the actual engine itself. You know, you see this thing has a throttle, the, uh, the other one does not, and the air filter mechanisms are a little bit different. Uh, but you can access both of those there. They're readily accessible. Um, this one has a little fuel filter there. Uh, same with the other one. It's just this. Uh, this has been sitting out there. Um, I, it hasn't had a lot of use. I just parked it on the side. <clears throat> it's been uh, decommissioned. Um, and the underside of the decks are very similar. Um, you'll see. And you can see it's real rusty. You know, it's, this has just been sitting out there for God knows how long. Uh, but it's uh, it's very comparable, and it's uh, uh, it's very comparable in uh, the uh, the design there. Um, so it's very similar. Um, one other uh, gripe that some people have is uh, that this weighs uh, a lot more than the Time Master, um, and it does. You know, it, it's a difference you can feel uh, again. But it's a self propel system, so I don't really. Um, it's not really a big deal for me. Uh, this one is, is definitely lighter. Again, there's a lot more plastic on the machine, but if uh, you're running commercial cruise, this is definitely gonna be the option for you. And then even uh, in the residential application, um, you probably wanna deviate to the X Mark, the commercial 30 or the, the Toro high-end one. Uh, it's just gonna last a lot longer and uh, it's gonna be uh, better built. Again, this engine is not gonna last long. It's a low-end Briggs engine. Um, I, it lasted on, and again, I've gone through two of these mowers. Uh, the engine only lasted, you know, one season and then I got another one. I got another Toro Time Master and, uh, yeah, it just didn't last. So I would always go with the X Mark. Um, that's my, uh, engine of choice. And I think the commercial 30 is definitely worth uh, $800 more. Um, you know, the, rather than waste your time with one of these and go through one or two of them and then have to replace the engine. Uh, so, um, you know, aside from the, the little weight, the extra weight that's on there, I don't think it's a big deal. 
Uh, so I'm, I'm fine with that. So that's the uh, comparison between the Action Mark 30, uh, Commercial 30 and the Torque Time Master. So thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to subscribe.